a little more work to the TA today. I had to move the car yesterday and this ignition lock cylinder through one of these numbers. I'm going to work on changing that out. I'm going to start the show by disconnecting the battery. I'm going to get rid of this battery at some point and go back to a top post battery. That or move it into the trunk. There's a steel wheel wall and that positive is like super close to it. I don't like what they did there. This horn button just pulls right off. Spring loaded. Looks like somebody's glued it at some point. I'll re -epoxy it at the end of this job. I'm looking at a nut in there and I'm going to take it off and see if this horn assembly comes out. Nut's still in there. Looks like there's a couple holes in there for a puller. And there's an indexing notch and it looks like there might even be a notch on the wheel as well and it's not in perfect alignment. I'll probably just square that up when I put this back together. I'm eventually going to put a new power steering box in this car and, and tighten up the whole front end. I got my universal puller here. I'm going to set it up. It's kind of a cheap puller made in Taiwan. I think one of my next tools is going to be a USA made type puller like this. I didn't have the right size bolt so I had to run a bunch of spacers in there. I did have these bolts completely seated in the wheel to get maximum bite on the threads. Looks like I have to take a few Phillips screws out here. Looks like we got a snap ring there. I'm going to use what's called a steering wheel lock plate compressor to push this plate back here so we can get that snap ring out. Start cranking on this here. The snap ring pliers didn't fit, so I'm just working this ring off with a couple screwdrivers. I need both hands so I can't really film it. This guy just pulls right out. This turns with the wheel, I believe. I'm going to take this screw out and then the screw for the hazard switch button and maybe a couple of these other ones here and see if uh, I can't get this turn signal switch out. There's some like keeper just laying in here. Don't know what that's about. Alright, I got to pull out a little ways here. There are some wires on the back side of this jobber and I'm not going to screw with that. But I can see the ignition cylinder and and like the retention clip that holds it in there. I was pushing in on this jobber with the screwdriver. It doesn't seem to matter much if this key is in the off position or not. I've seen them in the past where the key would be in the on position to get these out. The new one looks like it's the same way. And this thing just feels gummed up and used and abused. This one's pretty nice and crisp. I'm just going to stuff this in. Seems to be working. Start screwing all this back together now, same way I took it apart. If I remember right, the horn wasn't working on the way back. I'm going to clean up this end of this contact here. It's really gummed up. And then see if it works when I put it back together. I took some fine sandpaper and scuffed this up a little bit too. I'll probably put a really thin layer of grease on this. I was sweating there for a minute. This piece is splined, but you can see there's a gap, and it only goes on one way. There's probably a mechanism in here that could go bad with this horn. This one still seems to work. I cleaned up that indexing mark inside the wheel so it's easy to see. Line it up with that. I got the marks perfectly aligned now, and you can see the horn buttons in the hole there. There was a little bit of adjustment there, so you could go either way 
with uh, aligning the wheel. This job here is an indexing tang. That's going to ride right in that groove. Something's askew here. Let's take this back apart. Not sure if this is right, but I've reversed the plunger. Let's try it again. Well, the horn's not blurring, that's a good sign. Let's pop this cap back on here. Well, that's an added bonus to doing that uh, ignition lock cylinder. I'll clean it up now, get a little epoxy. Epoxy that back on there. We'll call it a done deal. I don't know why they put such small holes in these keys. We're on the Buffalo drill press here. Let's see if we can teach this key a lesson. The Craftsman bench grinder. It ain't the prettiest thing. I'll get more keys made later. The problem with this is you can't get a decent sized ring through there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.